Hi everyone, and welcome to a brand new Civilization 6 game. So, God Lakes, which is my favorite map script, got an update recently, and it has two new options. Connected lands and turn seas into lakes. So I will be using turn seas into lakes for this game. I might do the next one with connected lands. And uh, I'm also using snake option for Pangea landmass. And the other three are disabled, this way I can guarantee this will happen. We're using high sea level, and everything else is mostly on random or semi-random. I know roughly what kind of map I'll get with this, but it will still be quite unpredictable. Uh, we are playing on data, as always, and if you want to check out the mods I'm using, I have a whole separate video about that now. It will be linked in the video description. And I'm also using Barbarian's Clans mode, Heroes and Legends, Monopolies, Secret Societies, and Secret Acts Oceans. Let's get started then, shall we? And we'll be playing as Wilhelmina because polders. Obviously. <laughs> polders are always good. But with this map, her unique unit should also be quite useful. Knowing that there are Alright, so let's check out our starting location. A foreign trade right away, okay. Interesting. So, I'm not too excited about this, because production will not be very high. Okay, this is a hill, but that's about it. Yeah, this is actually not that great. It's not terrible, don't get me wrong, but it could have been better. I can settle on spot or I can move to have a directly coastal capital. What will we miss out on if we move? So, not much, and there is a volcano right here. I think it might be a good idea to move away from it. I'm actually leaning towards settling right here instead. I won't really miss out on anything if I move one tile to the east. So let's move one tile to the east. And we actually gained one hill. That's good. Another volcano to the east. Okay, okay. Alright, we are settling right here. So there it is. That gives us selling both right away, and we'll have a free food to gold tile right away as well. But let's work to food to production first. Okay, and we'll get a scout to explore. Now, I don't think I'll be rushing religion in this game, because I've done that in multiple games recently. I do not want every single Civ 6 game I play from now on to be a holy side religion rush, you know? I might still do it if I find an early natural wonder to boost astrology, but unless we find a natural wonder early, I will not be rushing religion in this game. Just heads up. Okay, uh, that's a lot of uh, geothermal fissures. <laughs> not sure how I feel about that, but alright. Interesting spot over here. Okay, so the scout can go south in the opposite direction. And now we'll grab a builder. We can get irrigation boost early, so that's nice. Very easily, I mean. Okay, uh, that's a lot of kelp. Not a bad thing. This is from Socritax Oceans, by the way, in case that wasn't obvious. Really nice mod. It is getting updated soon, so I actually installed it manually because the updated version will not be compatible with saves. If there are okay, no don't tell me we'll be blocked then when I by die. mountains here, because I would like to explore. We can probably explore to the southwest. So let's go in that general direction. I want to find at least one AI. Hopefully we can do that. So next up, mining. Another volcano. Okay, so a lot of volcanoes on this map. We have three volcanoes close to our capital. I'll probably want Liang in my capital with reinforced materials. Quite a lot of mountains, just in general. Okay, okay. No natural wonder so far. I normally wouldn't go this far with a warrior, because if I get some barbarians, I won't be able to defend myself very easily. But I want to explore. I want to find at least one AI. Okay, so this is the edge of the map. It's pretty unlikely there's an AI right here, 
So I think we can start heading back. It is not wisdom. There it's got of laws. Okay, a lot of hills down here. We are getting God King to get our Pantheon. And let's actually get survey. For now. So, builder, we want to get the wheat. Uh, I can't embark yet. So that will have to wait. Uh, I need irrigation. Okay, let's just buy this tile. I'm not going to wait. I want it right away. Next up for in trade, because that's already boosted. I can get a slinger to defend myself, but we should get a monument. So monument it is then. Okay, this will be a pretty nice city for production. Definitely want to settle that sometime soon. There's irrigation boost. So now I will need a irrigation itself to get the tobacco here. When you find yourself in a hole. Alright, two turns to get the other wheat. I think I'll just improve that. And then we'll wait for irrigation. I need pottery first, so pottery first. And we can go east from here. Maybe there's an AI somewhere in this area. We'll find out. Okay, one more turn for border growth. Let's just wait for that. Uh, okay, Barbarian Scout. I can wait for him to move out of the way. I still want to explore in this direction. Okay, yeah, Barbarian Scout. Maybe I can catch him, but I want to keep exploring with my warrior. I might just let him go, to be honest. Which does mean I'll have to deal with the Barbarians. But I can live with that. What do we want for our Pantheon? God of the Sea would probably be fine. Okay, God of the Sea. That's a safe choice. And on the kind of map we got here, it should be a pretty damn good choice. Uh, one more build on the builder. So I can wait for irrigation, or I can just get something else right away. I think we have time to wait for irrigation. That should be okay. Okay, so that's the end of the map already. I probably don't want to go any further in that direction. Maybe we can go east. It's kind of hard to tell. Okay, eruption. Uh, that's kind of a good thing. I could buy and improve that volcano tile. As in volcanic tile, not the volcano itself, obviously. It somehow didn't destroy the wheat. So that's good. Go on then. Nah. Okay, Korea. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but okay. We could try to stay friendly with her. But if I send a delegation, I'm probably just going to waste 25 gold. I've done that so many times, and it's just a waste of money. 9 out of 10 times. I don't think I'm going to do that. Let's get this volcanic tile, because that's also plus 1 error score. So there it is. And it's a decent tile to work. Monument is almost done. So she's somewhere to the north. Good to know. Let's get out of here. I don't really want to fight that barbarian scout. So did this guy come from this camp? I think that's possible. That means he will not be able to summon a raid. Okay, well, that's a good thing. Four turns to get a slinger. I could try to use this opportunity to boost archery. I think that's reasonable. We can try to do that. Yeah, she already denounced me. What a surprise. Nobody no could have possibly wish. seen that coming, right? Okay, irrigation or just get writing to get a campus. I will need another builder to take advantage of irrigation anyway. And we should get a campus, preferably as soon as possible. Uh, so, craftsmanship, that's already boosted. Pretty interesting map so far. I guess I could kill this guy if I really wanted to. Okay, we can attack him and then heal up and kill this fella. Uh, one shot will not be enough, but that's alright. Let's do it like this. Okay, one more shot and he'll be dead. So now I probably want a settler to start settling more cities as soon as possible. Yeah, let's get a settler. That works. Where exactly is Korea? Oh yeah, right here. So they started right next to the edge of the map. Interesting. Hey, you there, come back. 
I would like to kill you. Nothing personal, you know. I want my boost. This might be a little bit tricky, but we should be able to corner him eventually. Hey, come back here. Oh, I can't get a settler production boost yet, right? Not much point getting urban planning in this situation. I'll just get Ilkom, even though I won't be using it just yet, but we'll be using it soon enough. Yeah, early empire is what I need to get colonization. Let's start working on that. Come on, bro, don't make it hard for me. Don't make it hard for yourself. Now he'll be boxed in, because there are mountains to the east. So he's not going anywhere. And let's get sailing now because we want to improve the coastal resources, get our fishing boats. Okay, he can't go any further on this. He's as good as dead now. Come on, buddy, don't make it hard. Let's start heading back with the warrior now. Unless he can explore to the east. It kind of looks like the mountains are blocking it. Anyway, here's the archery boost. We got that secured. The settler is done. Okay, where do I want to settle? Probably somewhere in this general direction. Yeah, grab as much land uh, towards Korea as possible before they start settling it. And now we can get a campus. So where do we get a campus? We can get the plus five campus. That would be good. It would be on a floodplain, which seems like a little bit of a waste, but it is an option. Uh, speaking of floodplains, uh, this could be a dam in the future. So where is industrial zone going to be? Now remember that as with Helmina, we get additional adjacency bonuses for campuses, theater squares and industrial zones. So, well, I can have an aqueduct here in the future. Let's say this is going to be an aqueduct. So this is an aqueduct. This would be a dam. And then either this or this would be an industrial zone. If I have an industrial zone here, then we could potentially have a Venetian arsenal right next to it, because Venetian arsenal needs to be next to an industrial zone. So this would be a Venetian arsenal. And then in theory, we could have a theater square next to it. So either here instead of the wheat in the future or on the other side. I think this would be a reasonable theater square right here. It would be a plus five. Yes, it's also going to be next to a volcano, but I think it's pretty obvious I'll need to keep Liang in my capital in the future. There's way too many volcanoes. They will wreck my stuff. So this is the plan right now. I think that's reasonable. Uh, this could actually be water park. Yeah, okay. Obviously that will be much, much later into the game, but this could be a water park. That way it will be next to the theater square for a total of plus seven. I like that. Okay, this is the plan for our capital right now. We'll keep it that way. And I'm still getting the campus, obviously. So a plus five campus, that's good. I could, in theory, build it down here, but that won't really achieve anything. I like a plus five. Let's get a plus five. Yes, it will probably get wrecked by the volcano once or twice before I'm able to get reinforced materials but I'm not really too worried about that. So where exactly do we settle our second city? I'm thinking probably somewhere over here. This is going to be a very weird city because of all these geothermal fissures, but hey, it will make for a pretty damn good campus. Yeah, this definitely needs to be a city. Also, caviar is a luxury resource, so I probably want that with a lot of extra gold on it. The main question here is which exact tile. We'll see about that. Uh, so, sailing is almost done. I definitely want a builder after we finish the campus. I don't think you can sell anything. No, not really. She's still mad at me, even though I haven't done anything. So, next up irrigation to get the tobacco improved. Once we get the builder. I think this tile, wait, no, uh, this tile does not have fresh water. So probably on a hill. Yeah, I think this is a good spot, right here. We'll have wheat in range. We'll have caviar. We'll have all the tiles around this volcano. 
Okay, yeah, I think I like this spot. This is good. That's where we're going. This will make for a pretty damn good campus. It's somewhere in this vicinity. We can still reveal a few more tiles. I'm liking this map so far. It's interesting. That's what makes this mod so good, God Lakes. You can get some crazy maps with it. And there's so much customization. Okay, this is where we're settling. And I could get a choke point and camp and right here, actually. That would be better than this spot. I might do that in case we end up going to war with Korea. I can also try to settle one more city somewhere around here. So maybe we'll do that next. Either way, this is where we're settling. Oh, this was technically a different continent. So that gave me uh, some error score. Uh, all right, we do have Ilkum active, right? Yes, we do. Let's get that right away and I'll probably buy a decent tile to work. That might have to be the ivory right here. That's what I'm thinking. I can buy the wheat, but I can't afford that. I can't even afford the ivory at the moment. Okay, that's a lot of kelp right there. There's the campus, so that will be more era score, which is fine. Now we probably want a library. Well, now I want a builder, you know, to get some luxuries going. Thousands There's early empire. Love. Look back over the okay, good. With its changing. If we are getting another settler right now, I could grab colonization. How long for another civic? 10 turns for state workforce, right? Uh, let's keep Ilkum then. Let's keep what we have. I could maybe get a galley, actually. Okay, a galley is not a terrible idea. Let's get a galley then. So Maritime Industries and Ilkum. Okay, that works. They unlock archers. And now we can get Liang. I would normally get Magnus, probably. But I want to get reinforced materials as soon as I'm able to. Otherwise, it's almost guaranteed my districts will get wrecked by volcano explosions. It's going to happen. I know it's going to happen. Mind you, I do have uh, disasters set to 1. So they won't be very frequent, but I still want Liang. I can actually delay the builder a little bit and get an extra charge on him. So that also makes sense. Let's get the galley first and then the builder. We'll get a free inquiry now. Yep, see? Catastrophic eruption. Who could have possibly seen that coming? Uh, fortunately, that's not this volcano, so it didn't actually destroy anything. It only made this tile better for us. Okay, so next up, probably bronze working. I don't think I'll be kidding barbarians. I can try, but I will not be doing it with a scout, obviously. Nope. Here's another AI, good. Let's try to stay friendly with him. That might be a little bit tricky. And I probably just wasted 25 gold. Yep, he's already unfriendly. Well, at least he's honest. His first impression was bad. Oh, wow. Okay, that's a lot of kelp forest. Interesting. The galley is almost done. Okay, uh, yeah, this is too many units. I can't fight all of them with a scout. Obviously. They will kill me if I try. There's the galley. Let's see if we can reveal a little bit more. So can I buy some tiles now? No, I don't have enough gold. Oh, okay, yep, that happened. Uh, that's not a bad thing, necessarily. But all these volcanoes are going to be slightly problematic in the future. I need to back up, or I'm going to get killed. In fact, we should go back and uh, turn him into an archer instead. Yeah, I need 65 gold to buy a tile. The city will not grow otherwise. So, might be good to do. I probably want the jungle, because that has two food. Jungle or marsh. Yep, my slinger got killed. And my scout is about to get killed. Political philosophy, safe to say we will not be boasting that. I'm rushing reinforced materials now, that's what I'm doing. In case that wasn't obvious. Let's see where Aaron is. Bronze is the mirror. Hopefully we have it near our capital. And no, we do not, or do we? 
Oh, right here, I settled on iron. Okay, that's good, because I'll be able to sell it right away. That is definitely a good thing. Okay, we can actually start selling it right away. Except she's not really paying, all right. Whatever, be that way. Get the plantation going. Okay, time to back up or my scout will get killed. Just back up. I want to keep blocking this area because they will send their scouts to scout out my cities otherwise. Uh, right, I want the squid and such. So let's get that and then we can improve the honey. That is a luxury resource, not a bonus resource. I suppose I could replace my scout with a warrior. Sure, let's do that. That guy is still chasing me, that's a bit of a problem. That is a bit of a problem. Go away! Oh, there's Mogadishu over here, alright. Good to know. So, fishing boats? That's a very nice style now. I'm not waiting to build a quarry, there's nowhere to build it at the moment. I just want masonry. Now we can get the honey. There it is, that's also a nice style. When I will wait to finish the library, and then we can probably get another settler. And I got one more build, so we can get the wheat for now. I will be removing this in the future, but that's not happening just yet. I could also go help the other city, but it will get its own builder. Oh yeah, we should actually get the iron, I didn't notice this. Yeah, we can get that and then sell it. It will literally pay for itself. And it will give us a boost to iron working. If Korea was a little bit closer, I would actually consider going after them. But they are a little bit too far away. So I will not be doing that. Reaching them would be a bit of a pain in the ass. Okay, more iron right here. And that's a good thing. So I probably want to buy this. Obviously. Anyone buying for a reasonable amount? Okay, now they are paying. It's not a tremendous amount or anything. But they're paying, so I'm selling. There's the library. And we got the mine. With two boosts. Okay, so next up, I could get a wonder, but that would take a little bit too long. I could also pay to buy a settler right away. Where do I want to settle next? Yeah, probably close to Korea, again, to prevent them from grabbing too much land. Uh, okay, so I will want an escort for my settler. I still have Ilkum active. Let's just buy the settler. I think it's worth it. That way I'll settle the city faster. So buy the settler and maybe get a unit to escort him or just get a builder. Actually, no, hold on, let's get a trader, because I need a trader to boost currency. I will escort him with the scout, I think. And the warrior will block uh, this choke point. The Lord made is all to prevent the barbarians from going through. Here, this guy has a promotion for faster movement on hill terrain, so he'll catch up. Uh, the wheel next, that's boosted. I don't think I'll be meeting a third city-state anytime soon, we only got one. Oh, whoops, I went in the wrong direction there, my bad. Uh, there's the builder. I need to buy a tile. Okay, let's buy the ivory and improve it, that's fine. And get started on a granary. Okay, we don't have a scout coming here. I might have to kill him, which is fine. Get the ivory going. And then we can buy the jungle. That will cost me 75. I can buy it right away. But I want to be improving it. Okay, we're heading here. Because either Spain or Korea will settle this sooner or later. And we have a lot of mountains protecting us. So it should be a relatively safe spot to settle. I can get shipbuilding actually, because I could boost it pretty soon. I could boost it right now. We still have maritime industries. Only four turns to get a galley. Okay, so let's get a galley to get that boosted. And we'll get shipbuilding. Uh, so, I can go for Korea here. Yeah, sure, let's get a trade out with them. That gives us currency. 
block the way. Maybe just kill the barbarians down here. They will eventually turn into a city-state, however. Okay, which exact spot do we want? I obviously want the horses. So, in theory, if I settle, like, here, we could have a harbor all the way up here. That could be interesting in the future. That could actually be interesting. I could also have an encampment on the other side of the mountains. Could be useful for a future war with Korea. So this is actually not a bad spot. So, right here exactly. We could also get the stone and the wheat before Spain gets it. Yeah, I think we'll be doing that. I might need more gold to do that. But that's alright. Korea is buying, although not as much anymore. Okay, that's fine, I suppose. Not the best deal of all times, but I'll take it. We are making 100 gold per turn right now. That is pretty nice, I would say. Plus 80 from monopolies on luxury resources. Right, right. 